While I was scrolling through the wonderful land of TikTok, I stumbled upon the greatest thing ever. These freaky abominations. Today we're going to check out a show called The Bridge Kids. And by the way, the show is actually on YouTube and the channel that it's uploaded on is called Mike Carf. So after you're done watching this video, make sure to go over and subscribe because this person has genuine talent. I'm just a YouTuber who likes watching shit. And if you go on to like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's go. This place, this prison, none of them know what it's like. They don't even know my name. They're all just bogged, bogged in the mire. By the way, I just want to remind people that from the one minute clip that I saw on TikTok, this does get pretty dark. So take that as like a disclaimer. Hey. Yo, 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 you know what it is. Aha, uh -huh, yo, I'm the Tyler Durden of math class, but you don't know that because you get no ass. I love the character design. We haven't even seen my favorite character design just yet, but just look at these two guys. The animation somewhat reminds me of an uglier Rugrats. I don't know, it looks unsettling, but at the same time, it looks normal. Those Neanderthals rapping their music to flocks of sheep. None of them understand how fucked up this world is. This character is so full of himself. I feel like everyone that's watching this knows a person somewhat like him who just thinks the world is centered around them. And also I love his design as well because it perfectly matches his whole persona. He's animated with a little body but a big head. Although he thinks he's all high and mighty, in reality he's a really small person with a massive head. I love it so much. I got it all. It, it, it saves a lot of space. It's a whole lot more flexible. Can't, it's um, not really a backpack though, you know? Can't well, really... it doesn't have to be. It. <gasps> oh my God, dude. This character design is freaky as shit. I look at this character and instantly I'm terrified. I just hate how big his mouth is. It looks like you could fit a watermelon in there. I'll make them pay. I'll make them know exactly what it's like. I'll show them just how twisted I can be. I think my favorite part about this character is his voice. He has one of those voices that you would find super annoying, but crazy at the same time. I get to, I get to have everything I need. Like I don't want to see like what a, he says like to a, his mommy. Um, this kid is black. Dude, like the comedy is so nonchalant. I'll admit nothing funny is going on. Like these two guys are just having a conversation while this dude is just rapping a diss track about him for no reason. But like there's just something about this type of comedy that's really hard to pull off. It's one thing being deliberately funny, but it's another thing when you don't try at all. Your head look like a fucking sandcastle, bro. And just like a sandcastle bitch, whoosh, oh, I'm gonna fucking kick it over. Why is this guy just roasting the shit out of him? What did he do to you? I will say that sandcastle roast was pretty good. Also, look at this frame. The octopi. Yeah, you're gonna be sleeping with the fishes, you know. Did, did you just threaten me? Are you threatening me with I'll violence? I'll fucking hit you over the head with- <laughs> Dude, oh my god, the way he just said, are you threatening me right now? Oh my god, I love his voice. <laughs> this point is cool. Uh, Life is so simple for these midwits. <laughs> if only they were cursed cursed with the knowledge of this rotten world like I am. Oh my god, dude, his character is so annoying. Not only do I find it annoying when characters in a show are like this, I find it absolutely baffling that people in our real world are like this. He thinks he's so special and over everybody. Move it, bitch. Ah! Yo, handicap parking coming through. Wait a minute, editor, replay that. Ah! That sounded just like Morty. Oh! Can you believe this? There's no one even here. There's no one in the office. This is this is an emergency, and there's no one there's well, no one here know, to. School to... got out like an hour ago, so school's been out an hour, and you're still there. I know people like to hang out at school playgrounds, but just leave. The only thing that I miss about school is being able to see my friends every day. For those of you who are older, you understand. I'll write them a note uh, detailing how uh, their absence has uh, uh, left the school vulnerable for these hoodlums to walk around and and, and torment everyone. Hoodlums? That is not what I'd call those guys. Uh, do you have a, a pen and paper I could borrow? No. Oh, uh... I actually have lots of paper. 
here. Oh, I like that a lot. I loved that small detail where our main watermelon mouth guy, when he asked for a paper, Mr. Delusional over here, he slightly started to smile. And the reason why I bring that up, because that's a sign of the producer, the story writer, and the animators actually caring about what they're doing. It just gives the show a little bit of extra detail, which I really appreciate. Well, no. Bet. At that point, you're just completely underprepared. Get it right here. Like, what if you, like, come across a $100 bill on the ground? Then you're gonna, no, you're no, not gonna have anywhere to put it. Happening. Well, you know. I just love everything about this scene. You have Mr. Delusional down here just freaking out because he can't find a piece of paper. And you have these two just having a normal conversation. It just sets the whole tone of the show. And it's a tone that I haven't seen before in a show. And I love it. My manifesto, it's missing. We could probably just come back, you know, later. <laughs> I just, I just love how they just don't give a shit. And understandably so. They have no reason to actually care about this kid at all. And even as he's losing his shit, they just don't care. Not one point in this show have they tried to tell a joke. Yet I've been laughing and loving this the entire time. The real me is fighting the biological me. This ugly corpse world is riddled with disease. And the cure for it all is my AR-15 with a 3D printed bump stock and extended magazine. Huh? Reminder, this notebook was written by that delusional kid. The pumped up kicks kid. He just admitted to having an AR-15. Oh, YouTube, please don't demonetize this video. It's pretty cool. N now they're threatening people with, with, with machine guns and saying there's gonna be blood. It's kind of raw. I like that. It's kind of like a hard edge, you know? All right, in all fairness, without context, the, the lyrics are pretty good, but knowing the context, it's pretty messed up. Hello, uh, 911. I'd like to report two guys are, are going around uh, threatening to start a, a shooting. They didn't really. Yeah, they say it's going to be a bloodbath. Uh, frankly, very disturbing. It was kind of like a cool music thing, you know? It wasn't... Yeah, two lower class Caucasian males. <laughs> two lower class Caucasian males. I'm not going to lie, our Patrick Star main character here is a little delusional himself. I wouldn't say to the level of Mr. Pumped Up Kicks, but he's a little full of himself. Yeah, I have evidence right here. Uh, they wrote down saying that they are going to meet on Friday the 30th uh, under the bridge to begin their killing spree. <laughs> it doesn't say that at all. All. Good God. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This Patrick Star character is a little annoying. This kid is just taking this out of proportion. Those Philistines. Oh, they'll pay for this. Are you hearing the lyrics in the background? I'm pretty sure he said I'm gonna bust his skull and let it bleed down the hallway. Dude, this is fucked. I mean, the comedy is right up my alley, but God damn. The time you read this, it'll be too late. Tomorrow, my day of reckoning. Of course this kid has a Joker poster. Delayed and delayed for too long. I've let the thugs take advantage of my cowardice. But I'm not gonna be a pussy anymore. That was pretty cool. The animation on the paper and the writing was like constantly moving. Kind of expressing the intensity of the scene. That was pretty cool, I like that. Treacherous vanity will decompose. Fungus will sprout from their putrid remains. <laughs> ashes to ashes. Shit to shit. Oh, damn. He would be an amazing songwriter. I will blow my school up with a giant bomb. It will go tick, tick, tick. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> They're shutting us down for speaking the truth. Stop resisting. Whoa, what, what, what the fuck is happening? Dude. This is even worse than I thought. Oh my god. Editor, you have to blur that shit out. Even Mr. Pumped Up Kicks is terrified. There, justice served. That's what happens when you go around threatening other people with violence. What? Dog, you just ended up killing multiple innocent children. These are kids, by the way. Like, maybe freshmen? That ending took an incredible turn.